walked into a toy store. Looks like the shipment's ready to go to its client. We're not going to have time to warn the local authorities. And they won't have time to confiscate the weapons before they're moved out. It'd be safer to destroy them. Consider it done. I think I can find just the thing. According to the station layout, there should be a storage room across the tracks. Found the shipping manifests, but no mention of the missiles. Weapons, a lot of them, are coming through this train yard, but not the ones we're looking for. All right, get out of there then. It still could help us. So much for getting out of here the easy way. I did not realize you knew how to kill so well. I don't like to brag. <laughs> and so polite. Maybe I should keep a more careful eye on you. Look all you want, but tell me what you're doing here first. You're mercenaries. Who's your employer? Michael, I am not one to kiss and tell. Fine. I'll find out eventually. Yes. Especially if we were to keep working together. We could make our trip to Moscow a quick one. And efficient. You're kidding. It is not marriage I am proposing, Michael. But is the thought so unappealing, I am hurt. I will be in touch, Michael. I think we will have much to discuss, you and I. I won't promise I'll listen. I would wait until you hear my offer first. But it will not be long, I promise.
turn up anything, Mina? The name Grigori provided. Sergei Surkov. He's well connected in Moscow, and he may know what Halbeck's plans are. Any idea where I can find him? I've confirmed he's at the American Embassy now. He should be there for the next few hours, if his schedule holds. Good to hear. Is something wrong? Something's interfering with the signal. I'm going to switch to another frequency. What the hell? Mike, I understand you're going after Surkov. I suppose it's too much to ask to give me some warning before you interrupt my calls. We don't have a lot of time. I know about your mission, and I can assist you in getting to Surkov. When you arrive at the embassy, I can patch into your frequency and provide support as your handler. I think you'll find G-22's resources are considerable. All right. I could use all the help I can get. Excellent. I have your frequency. I'll contact you when you reach the embassy, and we can go from there. I'll get my gear and head out. All right. One last thing, Mike. I'd prefer infiltrating the embassy quietly. If things should get difficult, however... I'll be ready. Expecting trouble? Always. Great. What happened? I got cut off. Mina, I think Albatross is going to be joining us at the embassy. What? No time to explain. But I think we need to reach Surkov now. So this is the embassy, huh? I was hoping for something a little cheerier. There's still no contact from G-22. Do you want to call Mike, them? this is Albatross. Our surveillance indicates you're at the embassy perimeter. Can you confirm? I'm guessing that feedback means you've cut me off from my handler. I've locked down your signal to keep radio traffic to a minimum. It's a low probability embassy security will pick up our conversation, but I'm worried about other interests. So how do you want to do this? Are we going to be on the buddy system? Wear matching t-shirts? Our goal is to reach Surkov, extract the information, and then go our separate ways. Don't mistake my intentions, Mike. If I had agents in place, I would use them. All right, let's see what we got at the front door. Embassy guards. Standard issue weapons. According to our intelligence, the embassy hasn't been alerted, so they shouldn't be expecting trouble. Still, approach with caution. Always. <laughs> 